implants, whether or not to do fat grafting. And I think um, you know, that's one thing that's changed a lot in recent years is we do more fat grafting. Mm -hmm. So um, I know, Glenda, you were planning on doing some of that with mm -hmm. the next stage, mm -hmm. um, which I think it's nice. You guys have both had it. Yes. it it's, it helps, I think, hide that implant and make the reconstruction more natural. more natural. Correct, yes. Yeah. And then it also is nice because we're harvesting the fat from somewhere. Maybe you want a little liposuction <laughs> somewhere. So I'm not sure if you guys want to talk about that at all. Oh, yes. I, uh, when you mentioned I had that option, I say yes, why not? <laughs> you know, if that's an option, I'll take it, you know. And having breast cancer, it's not easy. But also, you know, the surgeries, it takes time to heal. But it pays off. After so many surgeries, you see your body different. You know, you don't feel so bad. You know, I, you feel confident. You know, you're back to be that woman that you were before. Not completely, but physically, you know, emotionally. Stronger, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so Dr. Lamper has done um, a liposuction. He has done the tummy tuck. And I got a little bit of sick pack too. <laughs> <laughs> he did uh, back grafting. Nice. Yes, because I had a dent on my right breast. So he filled it up and it looks amazing. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with the results. Um, Do you have a general opinion about fat grafting? Of course, grafting? it makes you look better. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I'll tell you, and I, I think that you know, these, these three ladies are in good shape. They all exercise. Uh, you know, they're, they're not um, out of shape at all. And I think sometimes liposuction is best on patients that are in some type of, you know, shape. Like you guys all work out, you guys all exercise. It's not like any of you are overweight, but liposuction works, I think, best to shape patients like you guys. And it just happens to be where we harvest the fat from to do the fat grafting to the breast. So sometimes we can make certain areas look a little better and use that fat to help our breast reconstruction. I think that's what's nice about it. But um, Rochelle, we did do some fat grafting with one of your stages and you're in great shape, but I think it did emphasize some of that shape that you're already in. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, fat, like I said, you know, anything that makes you look good We'll go for it, right? <laughs> so um, my experience with the fat grafting, I mean, it's it's not easy, it's a bit painful, but once you go through the process and when you look at yourself in the mirror, you're like, oh, I'm looking good. <laughs> I'm looking great. So it, it was a good experience because it's like sometimes you hear people go through it because, you know, because cosmetic surgery is a big thing nowadays, right? People don't have to have certain type of disease or going what we're going through for them to have it. So you hear people go through it all the time and sometimes like, oh, I wish I could do that. So having the opportunity mm -hmm. to do it was great, it was amazing. And I enjoyed every moment that, you know, Dr. Lemper did the fat grafting. And like they say, no, no pain, no gain, right? <laughs> no beauty. So it, was, so it was all well worth it. It gets addicted too, I have to say. It does, it does. It's you like know? tattooing, it's like everything yeah. else. It does get addictive because yeah. you go home and be like, oh, should I have Dr. Limper take a little bit extra up the waist yeah. or? <laughs> it wasn't so bad, you know? Yeah. And just you just look for it to come back. Like you find every excuse to come back and, and, and get something else That's done. That's true. Yeah. Sometimes I do have to say, okay guys, let's take a break. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> right, right, right. But there are little, those little kind of tweaks sometimes really make a big difference.